What's up, everybody? My name is Garlin here, and welcome to a first ever episode of Valheim. I've been loving this game, guys. You have no clue how much I've fallen in love with this game. It's exactly like how Minecraft was back in the day, you know, starting off. This is early access games, so there's a lot of bugs and stuff that happen, but, you know, I've just been having so much fun playing. Uh, let's see what we gotta do, though. So it starts off a lot like Minecraft, where the first thing you gotta do is, like, cut a bunch of trees, pick up some stones. Over here, you'll find your, uh, boss stones. This is exactly where you're gonna spawn. Over here is your sigil stone, where you're gonna find the first boss location. He's not really too far. Honestly, that's pretty good. So what we want to do, the first thing you're going to do in this game, start picking up some wood, start picking up some stone, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying. It's Minecraft, dude. It's Minecraft. I'm literally telling you exactly what this game is. There's a bunch of stuff hanging around that you can use to make yourself, like, get a little easier start, you know? I would suggest, uh, if you're going to fun start, uh, <laughs> mostly focus on, you know, what kind of foods you're going to eat. These, uh, raspberries, they're not really that great. This is a pig. He's going to go ahead and try to fight me. I'm not too sure if I can fight this guy with uh, no weapons or anything. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, nope. Yeah, he hits straight through the block. My my uh, my unarmed skill is not that great right now. So you can eat food, and that'll increase your stamina bar, see, at the bottom. And it'll also increase your health. It'll give you also some ticks of HP per second, and it'll also show you how long it lasts. So this one lasts about 10 minutes, I'd say, right? That, that's what 600 seconds is, about 10 minutes. This guy's called Hugin. He gives you some little uh, tips every now and then. So he tells you what you should probably be doing in the area that you're in. The first thing I'm trying to make is a hammer. And that's what we use to build houses and everything. What I'm going to use it for is something a little different, though. So you craft a hammer. Boom. You know what you can do with these guys? You have a torch. They're kind of scared of uh, fire, so they won't attack you if you hold the torch out. They might if you kind of, like pester them with it but this guy seems to be pretty scared you can just walk him around anywhere you want i think you can do this with the boars and with the graylings and a couple of the starter mobs that you see here we go here's punching simulator i just punched the heck out of that guy he went flying all right sick so our start area is a little aggressive with us come on let's go i'll beat you up this time this time i got you i'm getting my iron arm skilled up let's see if i can parry this i can't parry not with my fists. Let's get it. Oh, let's go, piggy. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come back here. Hey. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Easy peasy. Oh, we got lucky and he dropped some meat. So most of the time, pigs, they have a chance drop on meat. They have a 100% drop on the leather scraps here, but like only a 50% chance drop on the meat for pigs. The best way you can get meat is probably through the deer. We haven't ran into one of those yet, though. All right, we got a little too much wood. I, I messed up there, but, you know, it's fine. So what you can do in this kind of situation where you don't really have anything and you need a bunch of stuff, go ahead and just slap that down. Go ahead and get that out of your way. And you can middle click to get rid of the items that are holding this thing up. And you'll get a bunch of wood from not even cutting trees down. You didn't even need to make an axe. You didn't mean to do anything. Just get some stone, get some bop, and then you're good to go. Look at you. What are we at? We're at a stack of wood. Look at that. Easy peasy. We're gonna get rid of this guy. We don't need any more. Now, we're probably gonna need some stone. But, I'm gonna skip all that. Because, you know, I'm a veteran, you know what I'm saying? I'm a veteran. We're gonna go down to the river. There's some bunch of cool stuff down here that you can get. Not really. It's only one. One cool thing you can get. What I really want is some pigs and some deer so I can make a bow. But... For now, we're just going to go ahead and grab some flint. This flint is a little better than stone. There it is. It's this little gray version of a rock. It kind of looks like rocks, but it's a little gray and it's a little shiny. We just got two of the greatest starting weapons we can probably get. I am going to be making a couple items here. And I'll be skipping around a little bit so you guys don't have to see me do all of this stuff. Because it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff to do. You have no clue. But it's fun. It's a nice relaxing game. Once you start getting into the building aspect of this game, it just becomes so relaxing, so nice. Uh, and you figure out how to do stuff. Now, gathering materials, on the other hand, in this game is not that relaxing. Very, very not relaxing. Oh, look, here's a little neck. These guys are good for starter food as well. These guys you kill and you can get their tails. And you can find that. Let me go ahead and make a club. Just so I have a weapon. Bam. Bam. He did. 
Now, uh, <laughs> the first thing I'd say you want to rush in this game would probably be a shield. Shield will save your life in every, almost every situation you're in. And they only get better and better shields as you progress through the game. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think about the future. You can't look at items in this game and can't say, Oh man, well I don't need this right now, I might as well just throw it out. Never throw anything out in your inventory. Never, 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 never. Make a chest, put it somewhere, make it, make, make a small little hut, make a little hut. You know what I'm saying? Make a little hut, put all that stuff in there. You'll thank me later, trust me. You never want to throw anything out in this game. Oh, there's a deer, look at that, look at that. I already spooked him. But what you can do, what you can do if you find another deer that's not spooked. Ah, oh, my goodness, and look at that, I spooked him again. Alright, he's calmed down, he's calm. Let's go get him. We pull out the stick. And we go get him, we're getting levels like crazy here. Look at this, look at this, look at this. We stop. Keep moving. Now, my stamina bar is not going up very quick. Why is that? I'm wet. Being wet, being cold, all of that contributes to how fast your stamina regens in the game. Let's see. I'm almost up to this guy. I need more stamina in order to sneak up to him. As you see, my stamina bar goes down every step I sneak. It'll be pretty bad if I get up to him and I run out of stamina right at the very end. But I made it. Oh no! No! It wasn't enough! It wasn't enough. I didn't have enough damage. Alright, well, I guess I can't do it right now. Ah, red mushrooms. Perfect. So these are pretty good. These are used in, like, recipes. You can also use them to tame the boars and make them breed. It takes a few mushrooms. I think it takes, like, maybe, like, four or five per boar to make them tame. I'm gonna try to find some flatlands, see if I can find another boar. A couple boars might do me some do well. Target spotted. Now when you fight, I have this one club, right? I'm not too sure if there's a parry force on this club. There is. So, if you block just right when he's coming at you, you'd be able to parry. You have to parry like within a second of him attacking. Like that. As soon as they attack, you press right click and it should block the damage in its entirety. And it works better with shields, but you can do it with weapons. There are certain weapons. And since these, a lot of these mobs don't really do that much damage, um, you should be fine. So I'm going to keep on running around this map until I find enough boars to make what I think I need to make. But I guess for now, we can see what I'm looking at, what I'm trying to make. And here's a quick way of making a workbench work if you're having trouble in your worlds. You know, if you don't want to make like a huge workbench, you can just do something like this and get some flat roofs and you just do right, like right here and like right here should be fine and bam this should work fantastic look at that we've got a working workbench that we don't we didn't even need to do anything for fantastic look at that we need two more leather scraps looks like to make that and it looks like we need a whole bunch of leather scraps for this one what's attacking hey look a skeleton remember what i was saying before fellas this is a great opportunity to show you blunt damage in this game. So different types of damage exist. There's white damage and there's yellow damage. White damage and there's also gray damage, but we'll have to get to that. So yellow damage is what I'm going to be doing to the skeleton because it's blunt. This is the skeleton's weakness. I do more damage with blunt weapons than I would with a like, slash or pierce damage. Skeletons don't really feel all that. Oh, hey! Oh my goodness, he just belted me with a rock. Alright, so if you ever catch yourself in the predicament that I am right now, go ahead and build yourself a little campfire right next to your workbench. Boom. And then there's a little thing right here crafting a cooking station. You put that down right there. Uh-huh. Go ahead and cook yourself some of the meat that you just got. Those lizard tails looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some mushrooms and some raspberries. I would love to keep these around and just not use them at all, but you know, you gotta use what you have. For now, at least. For now, for now. We're okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. We got plenty of food. It's turning daytime or nighttime. So it might be a little more aggressive. But we should be fine. All in all, we should be fine. These are great starter foods. Just regular raw meat or regular cooked meat and regular cooked necktail. I'll catch you guys when I find all that. <laughs> all these boars. I'm not going to let you guys see all this. <laughs> Alright, well. To me, 
this is a little too dark for my taste, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bed outside my house. I'm, uh, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling that this is the smartest idea to be running around naked at nighttime with no gear. I hope I can fit a bed in this little slot here. Furniture bed. I can. I can fit a little bed right there. Perfect. And then we got it ourselves a little spawn point. Fantastic. Oh. Oh. See, sometimes your your buildings won't clip on the way you want them to. You gotta go ahead and get a little, get a little love tap right there. Our little Minecraft house. Remember what I said. This is Minecraft. This is literally Minecraft again. We haven't strayed very far from the tree. Now, I could have made this look a lot better. You know what I'm saying? I could have, you know, actually tried. Done some stuff. But for now, this is just going to look like this. Uh, let's see. And the bed needs a roof on it. Boom. And you can't put a roof over. You can? You can put a roof over a campfire? But, like, it's going to smoke out your whole house if you do that. And you probably don't really want to do that too much. Let's see it. Boom. If you want to learn about structural integrity, there's a lot of videos out there. Um, this game does have very uh, strong physics. So, blocks only extend about four ways without some kind of support. So, these blocks would go up about four high without any kind of beams or anything holding them together. But right now, my house is completely fine. I've got a bed. I can sleep. i got a campfire. The bird is on top of me, just shaking its butt in my face for some reason. Fantastic. Gotta love this game. Alright, so we skipped the night time. Fantastic. I didn't want to deal with all that huh? bad stuff. Sleep the night away in your bed. Wake up feeling refreshed. And full of energy. Look at that. We're all rested. We have a rested XP buff. Remember what I said? Our stamina bar is affected by being wet and stuff? Alright. So, this is a perfect example. We have rested now. This is a good buff to have because it increases your stamina regeneration instead. I'm trying to get as much information out to you guys. Oh, hey, look, there's a deer right there. Sneaking. 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 Sneaking! Ah, uh, nah, he's still too strong. He's got too much health. Never hurts to try. I got one! Yes! I finally killed a deer! I did it! Yes! And we got a deer hide. We got a deer trophy too, nice. And what you're gonna use with these deer trophies, if you haven't gotten to this part of the game yet, you are going to use these deer trophies to summon the next boss. Fantastic, we are on our way. There's a lot of skills in this game as well, if you haven't noticed. You level just about everything up. You can level from blocking to unarmed to jumping, running, swimming, sneak, all of it. And when you unlock more weapons, there's just more stuff for you to get. Spears, everything. There's everything. Swords, maces, all of it. It's here. You just gotta level it up. And at some point, I'm gonna have it. So here's the boss spawn area. We haven't really gotten enough things to start the boss or to summon him yet. But, cool to find the area. I seem to be running low on HP, so I'm going to eat my good foods now. Boom, boom. And we eat some berries just to top it off. And there we go, there we go. We're looking pretty good. Look at all that health we're about to have. Ooh. There's a chest up there. Look at that. Sick. We got coins and amber. Those are worth money. What we use money in this game for is you find a trader. Somewhere in this map there will be a trader. Anywhere. Anywhere <laughs> in this map is a trader. It is your job to find him somewhere in this map. He will be somewhere. That's the only hint they give you. He's in a black forest. Somewhere on the map. Now it took us about... In my other world, it took us about a week. It took us about a week to get this... Uh, to find the merchant. We completely found it on accident. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like finding it solo for me. But you know what? If we find enough traction on this, and you guys are enjoying it enough, hey, why not? I'll do it all. I don't really mind. I really love this game. I'm telling you, I really, really have been enjoying the heck out of this game. It's nice, relaxing. It's got its moments with, where being like hectic. Wow, oh my god, this is happening. <laughs> you have no clue what this game has to hold, has to offer. And it's just, it could be so much better. I can feel that this is like the second coming of, of, of a Minecraft Jesus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not too sure how to put it, but I feel like, I feel like these guys... 
really knew what they wanted it for this game and they've got an idea of, of how they're gonna achieve it like we we first started playing and i got my server running and it was just so laggy and it was so bad but like within the next week it was over the lag is pretty much almost fixed and i haven't seen many bugs since that day so they're doing something right over on their team which is nice fellas i'm telling you i haven't found a boar yet <laughs> four i got four i got enough for a shield so if i get another deer trophy i can probably kill the boss he does not hit that hard he doesn't even move that much but i guess you'll see when we get to it oh look some blueberries nice so this is the black forest we really don't want to be here right now because we're not uh super geared we're not, i mean like you don't need to be super geared to be over here it's not like that crazy of an area but it's just dangerous for our current selves when we only have the only thing we have is a club now i would love to find a boar that would be great that would be great it would be 100 10 1,000% fantastic if I could just find one measly little boar. I can't Alright. 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 So we found- Ow! We found a dungeon. We found ourselves a dungeon. And what we can do here, we can enter this. I'm not going to. Hell no. I ain't gonna do that. You know what? Don't be- a, Don't be- Don't be- Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Never be scared. Never be scared. We're in it. We're in here. What's up? What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back new episode I think I see the spawner right here on the right so we're gonna crouch down for a sec and yes sir yes sir yes sir they're right here don't hit me oh my god ouch oh man they hit so hard they hit so hard they hit so hard he's one star he's one star he's gonna kill me that's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Just ignore him. Ignore him. Ignore him. Okay, we killed the spawner. We're good. Everything's fine. Don't worry about me. I'm not freaking out, guys. I'm not freaking out. Don't worry. All right, we found what we should need later on. We have a circling core. We can't do anything with this right now. <laughs> uh, we're we're in a dungeon, which we shouldn't probably have gone in, but you know, I feel pretty confident in myself. Clear this room. What's in here? Feathers. Arrows. Perfect. Look at that. So all these items here, I'm going to put them together. These rubies, these uh, amber, this gold, all of this is used for the merchant. This is just money. This weighs less than this. So ideally, what you would want to do is carry a bunch of these around. If you found the merchant, you would want to carry like all of your rubies and all your amber, all your amber pearls and stuff. You want to carry those around with you and just sell them all when you get there. And then buy everything you need. Because you're holding all the gold. Gold's pretty heavy. I don't want to get clapped. That's all I want to do. I just don't want to get clapped. Oh my god, there's three. Oh, there's three. Okay, I separated them into two. Separated into one. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> We're cheesing it. We're cheesing it. Uh, uh. Yeah, boy. We're doing well. Skeleton trophy has no use that I know of. Oh, he hit me for 21. Wow. I'm so lucky I have HP, otherwise I would have not survived any of this. Right, we've almost cleared this place. Always remember to look on the floors, there's probably stuff on the floors, there's some coins there, you see? Uh, especially in these little cubbies right here. Look at okay, let's see, where have we not been yet? Looks like this way. No, that's... that way. Yeah, okay, that's spawner. Fantastic! Holy moly! There's four of them in there, fantastic. Alright, cool. Uh, we do not have enough turtling cores yet. We need five for one item. Five settling cores for one furnace, five settling for one charcoal kiln. And why we're doing this, I don't freaking know. I don't know. I just got a little bored. And I think I got tired of looking for uh for boars, so I decided to come in here. So we're gonna go ahead and exit out for a sec. Oh, should have repaired all my stuff before leaving. So repairing is absolutely free. We could make a flint axe to make everything a little easier. But what I'm aiming for is probably the spear. And probably the wood shield. These are the two things I'm, I'm aiming for the most. We need flint, and we're going to need a lot of leather scraps. And a bow. We need a bow. Really bad. <laughs> really bad we need a bow. <laughs> That's all I need. Boom, we've got enough trophies to fight the boss. Heck, I'm kind of down to fight it now. <laughs> uh, Kind of down, actually. 
Um, I don't really need the bow until I fight, uh, what's his face? Um, the boss afterwards. So we can just fight the boss now and just end the series. You know what I'm saying? It'll be pretty good. And end the first episode after the first boss, we're looking pretty good. Let's go back. Let's make our shield. I think we've got enough leather scraps, maybe. No, still not enough. No, we need wood. <laughs> Uh, you gotta love getting distracted, fellas. You gotta love it. It's always a good time. Craft up my shield. Bada bing, bada boom. We don't really need the flint weaponry. I think I could pretty much handle this with just a shield. I'm feeling pretty confident in myself if I do say so myself. I hope that doesn't burn. I hope that doesn't burn. <laughs> it's probably gonna be burnt. Yeah, none of my meat burned. Uh, okay, if I had more leather, if I had more of anything, I didn't collect any leather. Oh, I did. All right. If I had, you can make different tier armor. Maybe it's because it's not tier one yet. So what you can do, uh, let's see, in crafting, if you go to crafting, there are these items here on the right next to the workbench that you can use to upgrade your workbench. So chopping block or tanning rack will both create a level one workbench or two. If you have both of them, it'll create a level 2 workbench. We do need a bigger house because with this little setup here, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> it took me 40 minutes to collect four, <laughs> four leather scraps. You know, come to think of it, I don't think blunt damage is probably the best for a deer, but you know what I'm saying? It's probably fine. We make our sacrifice to Aethir. Check out that music. Check out that music. Oh, hello. What up? He does big blast. There you go. You block that. You run up on him. And he's going to do it again. Bam. You can block most of his hits. Ow. He hits fairly hard. We're going to go ahead and blast, stand back until we heal up a bit. He doesn't hit too hard, but you never want to be too careful. Bam! See, look at him. Look at him run. Look at him run. He's got nothing on me. Nothing. Nothing, I say. Again. He's going for big AoE. Oh, big ouchies. You can dodge roll it off, too, if you're not feeling like... If you don't bring a shield, you can always dodge roll it. He only has about two or two or three moves. The AoE, the lightning bolt, and just a regular headbutt. So you don't really need to pay attention too hard in this fight. He won't hit you too hard. You can also tank some of the hits if you want. If you've got enough food, you tank some hits. Just keep on doing damage to him. If you do a parry block, it'll probably cost less stamina, so you can hit him more often than not. Maybe uh, for you guys who are starting this fight, go ahead and start off with a flint axe or a spear. Probably a flint spear would be the best option there. Since you can use a flint spear as a ranged and or one-handed or a two-handed weapon. Very nice, very nice. So we've gotten something called the hard antler now, which is fantastic. And we've got his head. What these two things can do is we're going to head back to spawn. He tells you, can tells you exactly what to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what to do here instead. So what you do is you come back here to spawn, and you can do something fantastic with this head. All right, so you're back here, back at spawn, ready to show the world what you've done, what you've accomplished. You've killed the first boss. You put his head up here. Look at him. He looks beautiful. So now you have jump stamina usage and run stamina usage completely uh, turned down whenever you activate this power. In a way, grant the power of Aethir. Use it in time of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there and explore the lands and uncover their lost treasures and resources. The Elder awaits. So perfect. We're already on our way to the second boss. I can explain everything that we just got right now. Uh, we got a hard antler here. And what we use this for is to make a pickaxe. Our first ever pickaxe. Let's go check it out, see if we can make it. 
But we're coming back to the house. We go to the workbench here. Boom. We check it out. And we got ourselves an antler pickaxe. Check it out. Is that not cool or what? Boom. Number five. Bam. We're looking good. Tell me we're not looking good right now. Can we upgrade it? No siree, bub. No upgrading here. But we've gotten the pickaxe. We've gotten started. Everything's great. Next episode, we're going into this black forest. We're going to do some more dungeons. We're going to get some copper, some tin. We're going to get started. We're going to get this game really moving. The first couple minutes of the game, first episode is always kind of rough. We got ourselves a little starter house. We're going to upgrade this. We're going to tear it down. We're going to put it in the middle of that over there, I think. I've got a lot of ideas, friends. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. Because I've been enjoying the heck out of this game. Uh, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. So thank you guys so much for watching again. And I hope you guys have a great day. Peace out, everybody. Bye.